Hey, this is Presh Towalker. A hospital has 16 rooms in a 4x4 grid. The rooms are numbered row by row. Every room has exactly one patient. The patient in room 1 wants to meet all patients and exit from room 16, but cannot meet another patient twice. How can it be done? I thank Rahul for the suggestion. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try. And when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. This is a delightful logical puzzle. The first thing to note is that it's impossible to visit all rooms without visiting another room twice. You might try to make a path that goes through every single room exactly once, but you're either going to be missing rooms or you're going to be visiting some room twice. It's actually an interesting mathematical problem to prove that it is impossible. Here's one way you can show that. It uses what's known as a coloring argument. Color the 4x4 grid in a chessboard pattern so you have alternating squares of white and black. Each time you move between two rooms, you're either going from a black square to a white square or a white square to a black square. So every move includes one white square and one black square. To visit 15 other rooms exactly once, you need to make exactly 15 moves. But in an odd number of moves, you start and end on different colors. Then we notice that rooms 1 and 16 are the same color. So it's impossible to make such a path. This same argument shows why it's impossible for any n by n grid where n is even. It will be impossible to make such a path going from the upper left corner to the lower right corner, visiting every single square exactly once. But it will be possible for some grids. So just from actually working it out, these grids, it will be possible to make such a path. So how are we supposed to solve the puzzle? Because we have a 4x4 grid. You have to look closely at the wording of the puzzle. It is possible to visit all patients without visiting another patient twice. So here's the trick. Let's say you go to room 2. Now, room 1 is empty because you were the only patient in room 1. So you can return to room 1. Since you are the only patient in room 1, you're not visiting another patient twice. So now once you've returned to room 1 and you've already visited room 2, it will be possible to make a path that goes through all the other rooms and meet all the other patients and visit them exactly once. This is one path you could have made. But there are a total of four different paths you could have made. So here's another path. Here is a third path you could have made. And finally, here is a fourth path you could have made. An alternate way to solve the puzzle is if you visit room 5 and then return to room 1. That will also lead to four other possible solutions. So that is how you solve this incredible puzzle. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems, one video at a time.